Hello, I'm Mac. I'm Sarah. Welcome back to our channel. And this week we are keeping it local in the South Downs National Park. It's been a busy few months for us um, with lots of different trips away, but we always love coming away. So uh, this weekend is no exception. Yep, and um, we also really love where we live and we're lucky enough to live in a gorgeous part of the country in uh, near the South Downs National Park. So we found a gorgeous little Airbnb in a place called Bigner and we've challenged ourselves to keep it local this weekend. So nothing but local food and drink the whole time that we're here. Yeah, it's gonna be fun trying to um, find enough locally produced things to uh, create all of our meals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but you know for us actually buying local produce not only I think does it help um, get some really nice good quality things but um, you're directly supporting local businesses and while sometimes it may be a little bit more expensive what's better than supporting local jobs and local businesses <laughs> The place we're staying is set in these beautiful grounds with a stream and a trout lake. The sun is shining so we're just out for a lovely morning walk with those. Out. Dozer's having a splash in the stream. this log over this little stream and I'm trying to convince Mac to recreate the baby and Johnny dance scene on the log from Dirty Dancing but he says no. We are off now to find some farm shops and some places to buy some great local produce. We're just debating the kinds of foods we might be able to find at the farm shops. Um, we're vegetarian, we eat fish, so actually we're pescatarian. So that does rule out things like locally reared meats, but we're hopeful for bread, cheese, eggs, beer. Beer, local beer, definitely. And at least if we could have um, bread and eggs, then we can have scrambled eggs on toast for breakfast tomorrow. Mm. Um, cheese and bread wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I um, mean, cheese, bread and beer sounds like the food of champions to me, so I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but let's see what we can find. We might be pleasantly surprised. The first place we came to, actually we made a beeline here because it's one of our favourite places, is Edgecombe's in Ford. They're a local coffee roasters and tea blenders and um, we get our coffee from it all the time. But they've recently opened a lovely little store called Edge Store which showcases lots and lots of local produce and of course all of their teas and coffees as well. We have indulged ourselves and got a bag full of goodies which we'll show you when we get home. Um, but meanwhile, we are enjoying a nice iced latte in the sunshine. In the gorgeous village of Slindon in West Sussex, you'll find a place called The Forge, which is a shop and a cafe. This place is in the heart of the South Downs National Park and they do a terrific selection of food and cake and local produce that you can buy. So Mac went in and got a great selection and I'm looking forward to seeing what he got later. It's actually a locally owned shop as well. So the, the premises is owned by the community. It's actually leased out to the, the, the people who run it, but um, what a great asset for the village. The 
next place on our list is Charlie's Farm Shop and it is smack bang in the middle of a farm. There's some cows over there, some barns behind us. Sarah's gone in to see what goodies she can get. Um, I'm outside enjoying the sunshine. Let's see what she comes back with. I don't know how we have never been to this place before because it's really not that far from where we live, but I'm sure Mac took a shot of the cows in the field opposite. Well, this is milk from those cows. You can no buy way. a glass bottle for a pound and then to refill it is 55p. So I've got some semi-skimmed uh, milk from, from the cows on this farm. Also, uh, because you know, you can never have too many sweet treats. I've got some local raspberry jam mm -hmm. and some locally made scone so i'm thinking cup of tea scone and jam that sounds amazing sounds good right perfect well we have a fantastic haul of goodies to enjoy all of this is locally produced locally made and sourced in these wonderful little farm shops in west sussex we've got some really good variety here as well we've got some beers from portsmouth we've had these before staggeringly good beer company um, coffee from our favorites edgecombs um, this is a huge bag because we drink a lot of their coffee so um, we wouldn't normally buy such a huge bag for just a weekend away um, some scones locally produced some cowfold cider Nutborn wine. This looks really nice as well. Sussex Reserve 2018. Really looking forward to that. Some local bread, jam, tomatoes. Got some very nice looking cheese. Strong cheddar cheese. Really looking forward to that. And of course, we can't buy all this locally produced goodies and not get something for Doza. So we have some locally produced dog treats. <laughs> We are sampling some of our local goods but we are starting off really simply so we've got some bread some cheese and some beer um, and because Dozer has been a super good boy he is going to get a handmade cheesy dog biscuit oh, made wow. in Sussex there you go he's like I'd rather have your cheese thank you mum good boy oh, oh. yeah he likes it yeah good boy, good boy. <laughs> So this is locally made Sussex bread. Yes? Yes. Yes. Do you know where it was made? No. No? Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the bread was made in Sussex and I have just put on some Sussex charmer and some Sussex blue cheese. The Sussex charmer apparently is a cross between a mature cheddar and Italian hard cheese. So I'm quite mm. excited to give this a try and see what it tastes like. Tastes like cheese. <laughs> I'm opening my Stagosaurus uh, Session IPA from Staggeringly Good Beer in Portsmouth. Ooh. There we go. Now I'm cheating because I've had this before and it is really nice. Mm, yeah, that's perfect. It's really hoppy actually. Really good beer that. <laughs> I think we found a real gem of an Airbnb. Not only is this place in a beautiful, peaceful location, but check out this view behind me. I think that's gotta be one of the best Airbnb views we've had so far. Airbnb host very kindly also said that we can have a go on their tennis court as well. Did we mention? This place also has a hot tub. I was just thinking, we can probably count the number of times we've been in a hot tub on one hand. So, how are you enjoying yeah. your time in the hot tub? I'm loving it. <laughs> I think the actual official figure is twice. Twice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one and... And one at a hotel. And one at a hotel, yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels very luxurious. It really does. Most unusual. Yeah, and I think this has to be, I mean, I know I've probably said this like a thousand times already in this, uh, in this vlog, but how about that view, you know, for an Airbnb it's absolutely amazing, hot tub it? view. 
That yeah. is pretty good. We have lucked out. And this place was not expensive. We'll link it below so you can check it out. Really um, a fantastic place. Such good value. Really enjoying it. Okay, we have a nice cup of tea and some locally baked scones with raspberry jam. Mm, and the uh, tea uh, is made with the milk that we got from the farm, which is Ooh. literally five minutes down the road. That so is so cool, isn't it? Really, really good. Um, I wondered if they have specially semi-skimmed cows or whether that's a process, I don't know. They're probably the cows were extra skinny. I reckon, yeah, mm. I reckon. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh, that looks nice. Mm. I just wish we had cream, you know? Mmm, yeah. Oh my goodness. That raspberry jam is bang on the money. Mmm. Mmm, it's tangy. It's really nice, it's not quite as sweet as um, like mass-produced jam, is it? No, it's not. Mm. That's really good, actually. I really like that. Spongy? Mmm. Light? Yes, They are light. actually spongy. Spongy and light. Mmm. You're looking at the pheasants. Looking at the pheasants. You're looking at the pheasants. <laughs> there are pheasants everywhere <laughs> and Dozer is very entertained by them he's very good though he doesn't he chase them he just watches them no. suspiciously <laughs> he did chase one this morning what a decadent afternoon mm. hot tub I know scones, scones and jam scones and jam play a game of tennis in a minute lose a game of tennis you mean yeah okay make a fool of myself in a game of tennis yeah He was absolutely fast asleep, not paying any attention to the pheasants that were wandering around right in front of him. Now he's woken up and he's given them the eye. I have challenged Mac to a tennis match, so let's see just how rubbish our tennis skills are because neither of us have played tennis probably since school. Easily since school. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> we are sharing the court with these guys. So I don't know how good they're gonna be at tennis. I really hope I don't hit any of them with a the ball because I cannot aim. Last 15, 15, 30, 15, 40, 30, 40. Well, there was definitely no winner from that tennis match. We are both terrible. We've stayed at quite a few Airbnb places and I just cannot get over how gorgeous the setting of this one is. Pheasants everywhere. <laughs> Been a tiring day, buddy. Yeah. We have our lovely local dinner. Um, 
We've got a gorgeous looking bottle of wine here from this the looks Nut amazing. Nutborn Vineyards um, Sussex Reserve 2018. So I'm going to pop this before we tuck in. Uh, we don't normally have wine with actual corks. <laughs> Our wine normally has a screw top. <laughs> okay, there we go. How's that? That is really nice. Is it? Really well, here's nice. to local Airbnbs and local, and local produce. Food. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. I don't know how to describe wine. It's very, very nice. It's lovely. <laughs> it is described as a crisp, dry English wine grown, produced, and bottled at Nutbourne Vineyards, West Sussex. And it's very good. And what we've got for food is. Um, some pasta. Now the pasta is not local, unfortunately. I don't think Sussex is well known for its pasta making. Um, but we have some gorgeous, fresh um, pesto made in Worthing. Oh, is it Worthing? Yeah. Mmm. And I've got to tell you, it's delicious. When I opened mm. the tub, it smelt like an Italian restaurant. That is really, really nice. It's really gorgeous. There's a nice uh, kind of almost garlicky hint to mm. that. Flavor. There's definitely some garlic in it. Mm. Yeah. Not like mm. oily like a lot of No. Pestos and you can be. see you can still see the sort of the um, basil leaves that have been used to make it. Really good. And um, some locally grown tomatoes as well. <laughs> okay, next up for dessert we have ice cream. <laughs> Belgian chocolate ice cream. From Caroline's Dairy, which is based in Siddlesham. <laughs> <laughs> I finished your sentences. Well done. And and we have topped it with some rich Belgian chocolate brownie, which is made locally in Godalming. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so it, it's chocolate on chocolate. On chocolate. I mean, this looks like a feast. What could go wrong? Oh wow! Mm, that chocolate ice cream is so chocolatey. Mm. It's made in Siddlesham, um, using milk from their own dairy herd. So that's pretty cool. That brownie's really is it? fudgy and oh, it that's good. Well, we are going to enjoy our ice cream and then we are going to head inside, maybe read before hitting the sack. So we shall see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good morning from the hot tub. What a way to start the day. Coffee in coffee in the hot tub. Oh my goodness. With this view. Yeah. How, wonderful. How decadent is this? So we're just gonna hang out in here for a little while, admire this amazing view, and just take a slow, relaxing start to Sunday. Yeah. Very nice. this vlog has either been us in the hot tub or eating. We've just got out of the hot tub so we must be about to eat. Our last breakfast of this short trip, um, the locally sourced eggs that we got yesterday, the mm. rest of the bread and um, some tomato ketchup made with the remainder of our tomatoes. This looks absolutely delicious. I'm so excited to tap into this and obviously Oh, coffee. More coffee. <laughs> More coffee. We're going to be bouncing off the walls later. ready to leave. I think it's helped us realise that you don't have to go far to get away. 
No, absolutely. We're, we're only half an hour from home. Um, we are very lucky to live um, right near the countryside, um, so it's only a short distance. Um, but hopefully, uh, wherever you are, you can also get away just as easily. Um, and also, while we're here, we try to uh, use local produce as much as we could, um, which has been an interesting one, hasn't it? It has. We've really enjoyed it, actually. And we've uh, found some new favourites, I think. We have. Um, you know, obviously, we love 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 um everything that we've ever had from edgecombs they are our absolute fave but i think we've helped kind of discover some new stuff mm. as well and eating like buying locally produced um produce like that is definitely more expensive than the stuff you get in the supermarket without a doubt um but um you know maybe once or twice uh, as a treat um it's not not such a bad thing yeah and i think if we could make one sustainable change it would probably be the milk because actually that was no more expensive than mm. um you know buying milk in the supermarket and i really love the idea of having the glass bottle and then being mm. able to refill you it go and so. return it and refill it yeah great yeah. idea yeah. Um, but anyway we hope you've enjoyed watching um it's a just a short little break for us um we've got some more things coming your way soon so if you have enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up um consider subscribing if you're not already that means the world to us it really does and then hit that bell notification so you don't miss our next upload we've but got plenty more coming yeah, your way we have but for now thanks very much thanks for, for watching, watching. Bye. take care bye